Hello everyone, this is Praveen Kumar and welcome to the Hellers Classes channel. Up to the previous videos of mathematics, uh, I think we discussed about what are the different uh, uh, histories of exponential e and as well as uh, what happens to if anything power 0 will become or 0 power 0 is also has to be 1 only and those reasons already been discussed in the previous videos. I hope you understood that. So in this video, I'm proceeding with all silver teacups. So that is a basic thing which we discussed in our or we listened in trigonometric part. That all silver teacups so that which may be very helpful for solving so many trigonometric parameters. Which means all in the first coordinate, the sine, tan, and cos parameters generally considered as positives. And while coming to the second coordinate, uh, uh, silver which indicates that sine parameters are only to be positive. And in the third coordinate T which means uh, tan parameters, tan and cot will be termed as a positive parameters and cups which represents in the fourth coordinate cos as well as secant parameters are to be considered as positive. So for this proof on how the all silver teacups has been introduced. For this explanation, I am taking that x, y axis. So in the first coordinate, as I mentioned, sin is positive, cos is positive, as well as tan is also positive. So that is in the first coordinate. First coordinate. While coming to the second coordinate, sin value as well as cosecant value, that is to be considered as sin next one cos is negative tan is negative and while coming to the third coordinate sine is termed as a negative sine parameter will become negative cos parameter is termed as negative tan which means sine by cos so minus divided by minus we have to consider that uh, minus minus will get cancelled and tan will be positive and while we consider the fourth coordinate sin is negative cos is positive minus divided by plus which will be ultimately considered as negative so all means all positive silver means sine positive t means tan positive and cups cos parameters are termed as positive and for this why it is happening and what is the basic reason behind that and everything will be explained in this video so for this again i would like to mention or drawing the x y axis in this video for the explanation purpose so here I'm here i am taking the axis in vertical and horizontal directions horizontal direction is x x the vertical direction as yy and we know that the positive and negative uh, terminologies also the right side of x is positive and here it is negative and top of y is positive and bottom of y is negative i think most of you know very well known about that so now i'm considering that there is a point is uh, around, rounding our uh, point is moving around this axis with respect to the horizon O and in the first coordinate there is a point is uh, moving at some point and it is moved to second coordinate third coordinate and fourth coordinate so based upon this assumption that I am proceeding for the explanation of uh, this all silver teacups the first coordinate I am taking uh, a assumption of a point which is around rotating throughout this coordinate with respect to the origin so I'm taking the first coordinate so if I am looking forward to that the distance from that point to the origin I'm initially taking it as a unit distance either it may be a unit parameter so I need to calculate the actual vertical distance and horizontal distance from the origin O to the point which is rotating around or moving around the first coordinate. 
so if i am standing in the horizontal axis so i'm assuming it as some angle theta with respect to the horizontal so i need to calculate with respect to the origin to the point of moving around here so in vertical direction the distance i'm assuming it as some y and horizontal as x so i need to calculate that y and x values so from the trigonometry sin theta is opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side is y divided by hypotenuse is unit distance so y is sin theta only next one if i want to calculate cos theta which is adjacent side x divided by unit distance 1 so x is unit distance into cos theta will be cos theta so y is sin theta x is cos theta so from this expression we have been calculated the distance from the origin to the point of moving in vertical as well as horizontal directions and that y distance is always in the positive directions which mean from origin 0 to in positive y direction so that's why i am taking that sin theta distance as positive and similarly in horizontal direction also from origin 0 to positive direction the distance is moving so that's why i am considering that distance cos theta value as the positive value because these two values are moving from 0 to positive directions so these are positives and while proceeding for the second coordinate again from origin o so already we have been calculated that uh, vertical distance as sine and horizontal distance as cos and the, and the angle is theta so from here also from origin 0 to in positive direction that y distance vertical distance is moving so sine is considered as positive and that cos distance is moving from origin to negative values so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 likewise so that cos theta value is a negative value because it is moving on to the negative direction so the cos is negative so similarly uh, this is uh, if i consider the tan theta which is sin by cos positive by positive always will be considered as positive so while coming to the second coordinate again sin by cos which is positive divided by negative so which will represent the negative value positive by negative is always termed as the negative so if we consider the point which is moving around in the third coordinate so the vertical distance is sin horizontal distance is cos and there the angle is theta only so from this analysis the sine distance is moving from 0 to the negative direction of y from 0 to negative direction actually the vertical distance is moving we have to calculate in negative direction only so that's why sine theta value is negative and cos is obviously uh, it is also moving on to the negative direction so it is also negative so while coming to tan minus by minus will get cancelled so ultimate value is positive so in the third coordinate tan value and cot value will become the positive parameter and in fourth coordinate if i join the origin and point of moving somewhere and if i need to calculate the horizontal distance and vertical distance from the point of origin so in x direction actually uh, it is moving in the positive direction only so vertical direction is sin horizontal direction is cos while coming to the horizontal direction it is always moving in the positive direction only so cos is positive and while coming to the sine value it is moving on to the minus y direction so sine value is negative while coming to tan sine by cos which is minus value divided by plus value so ultimately we are getting the negative values so if we consider the previous analysis of all silver teacups in first coordinate everything will be positive so here we prove that sine cos tan and everything has been in a positive manner for the first coordinate and welcome to second coordinate sine is positive cos is negative and tan is 
again negative value we are getting so while coming to the third coordinate sine is negative tan is positive and cos is negative which means t tan values are positive and fourth coordinate cos is positive sin is negative and tan value minus divided by plus and we can say that tan is also a negative value so here also we can observe and these things are proved based upon the axis coordinates all silver tea cups are only to remember the components which uh, starts with the first letter and these letters are been introduced for the remembering purpose only so this is the explanation for all silver teacups the how it is been happening and how to remember these values and this is the explanation for that and in the next video i will continue with uh, sign 90 plus uh, sign 180 plus uh, so likewise i will continue with the uh, things for the explanation in the next video thank you